nobody knows why firemen are firemen. Not even they can tell you why. But it is time somebody try. Firefighting is the most risky of jobs. Fire and ice are uncomfortable separately or together. Wives hate the hours. Kids love the noise. Fire and ice. Any day at the firehouse, the bell puts the dispatcher on the horn with a tenement tinderbox address into bunker pants, rubber turnout coat, grab the mask and go. Minutes later, you're on site. As others run out, you go in. You'll need all you can carry. The four-pound axe, a six-foot hook, the Halligan pry bar. The ceiling has to come down, and it's one of those stubborn tin ones. You are gouging out and tearing loose and pulling apart, gulping air and tasting black. Your windpipe is closing, and you've lost track of which way is out. Is it really worth it? They've cut your ladder company from six men to five, so now everything you do is 16.67% more difficult and more dangerous. Your air is low. Inside your mask, you're throwing up. There's a searing ember down your neck. Torn gloves exposed. A smashed hand, so you emerge from the Holocaust, hugging with your elbows somebody's singed kitten. Back at the station house, you can almost breathe again. Next come the tedious hours as you gang up on grimy tools. The cleanup crew at the firehouse is you. When windows need washing and toilets need cleaning and floors need mopping and beds need making, you do it. Is it worth it? Your B crew pumper swapped his day shift so some family guy could be home for his kid's birthday and then outbound toward a false alarm. Your buddy gets blindsided by a hot rod driven by a drunk fire and ice. The intercom barks again. This time it's a warehouse, a big, fat, multiple place. On-site engine men draped with icicles, dragging a three-quarter pre-connect rose hose, are waiting for your big line. Ladderman can't make the building without you. Search, rescue, ventilate. Eventually it's over and out. Your smoke's smudged and sleepless and wrung out. But this one you won. But the raging blaze that wanted to consume adjacent buildings did not because you were there. Back at the firehouse before cleanup, you and the guys sit a spell, tired, but they laughing, feeling good about one another. Nobody outside your world can ever know this feeling. In any other uniform, you get streets named after you. In this one, you risk your life to save people until one day you run out of chances. And in one final fire, either you buy it or you don't. And yet there is no third way that you'd ever leave this job. And you're doubting even God knows why. When you hear a familiar voice saying... It is worth it. And you're hearing this voice, and there's nobody there but you. It's a quiet voice from nowhere saying, It is worth it. Fireman.
John Bahwaltz on descent. Almost done. I'm never traveling to Nick Mason again. <laughs>